So good morning you guys, sis is going to be here any minute now. So once again we're going to Ikea because another part of her wardrobe is in stock. And then I'm going to be going back to my sister's house and I'm going to try and upload my video at her house. Because if you saw my last vlog um, you would have seen that I had some issues with trying to get my video uploaded. I accidentally deleted it and I had to edit all over again. When I go to her house, fingers crossed, I'll be able to upload my video and it will all go smoothly because her internet is really really fast. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and give you an outfit of the day. And I'm sorry if my makeup looks really weird today I was just having one of those makeup days where my makeup just wasn't going on well and I'm using a new foundation so this is a Revlon color stay foundation something like that um, and this foundation is good for oily skin which I have and the foundation actually dries matte so I felt like I had some issues with it around the mouth um, because it just dried so when I was trying to wipe it off it was quite difficult and I feel like around my mouth looks a bit weird um, but yeah this foundation literally dries matte whereas all other foundations I've tried kind of look a little bit dewy so even once I put powder on it still looks quite dewy and then within an hour my face is really really oily but yeah I'm going to test out this foundation today so if it looks bad um, you know what right, see you in a minute bye yeah oh bye to be really quick and show you my outfit my sister's outside so i've just got this jumper on from primark it's a um would you call this a turtleneck i don't really like turtleneck jumpers but this one is quite comfortable because it's not like a really tight turtleneck and i've just got this belt on from um, ASOS which you guys would have seen in my last video and I'm just wearing these ASOS jeans which you guys would have also seen in my last video um, I got a size 4 and I returned well I haven't returned them yet um, but I went ahead and I ordered a size 6 and they fit a lot better and then as for jewellery I'm just wearing these ASOS earrings again the hooped one and then I've just got my Ana Luisa bracelet on and I don't have a necklace on today because I couldn't find one that looked nice with this jumper I'm just trying to pack my bag so these are all the bits I'm bringing to my sister's house and I'm just packing my charger my phone and my airpods I'm going to be bringing my almond milk and honey body shop hand cream because I love this stuff so I'm just popping this river island jacket on today because it is actually a bit cold today and it's very windy it's very rainy it's not nice bright spring weather um that we had last week this is a river island jacket that my sister got me for Christmas a couple of years ago this is the first time I'm wearing it it's so nice um it's really really nice and snug and it is quite warm as well i've got some asos bits here which i need to talk about but i don't have time to do that now because my sister's outside but um these are the this is my keep pile this is my maybe pile and um yesterday i packaged up all the stuff that i need to return because there's a lot of stuff that i need to return but i'll talk through these um when i get back here's my entire outfit is all black so you can't really you can't really see it but this fur bit can um come off um, just got some trainers on and my bag so yep off we go almost forgot my um face mask so it is. okay see you in a minute so i'm just at my sister's house now and i'm just running in to get her a few snacks you guys in a while so I thought I would just catch you up on um, what's been going on so we went to Ikea um, and then my sister's boyfriend stopped at a few other places and we had um, McDonald's the only thing I got in Ikea was this plant I have been eyeing this plant for a very 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 long time um, and I just never pick it up and I already have a plant pot for this at home because a lot of Ikea plants fit in the same pot so this is just a fake plant not entirely sure what kind of plant it's supposed to be um, but we're going to be going to my sister's house next so I'm just going to stay there for a little bit to upload my video Oh. 
So good afternoon, I don't normally start vlogs at this time, I think it's after 2 o'clock. I went and collected my ASOS parcels from my neighbour because yesterday when I was out um, I was expecting um, my ASOS parcel. They put it into two separate um, parcels because I ordered quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, here's the box and here's the bag, it's a massive bag. I'm going to be unboxing that with you guys and um, trying on some of the stuff because tomorrow I'm going to the post office with my sister. Um, I was packing orders this morning, you guys would have seen. Um, I spent my morning packing orders um, and I finished a bit early today because I only had about, I think it was just under, uh, I've got a hair on my lip, um, I think I had just under 30 orders to pack and I was really annoyed because the Royal Mail click and drop um, the the website, it was playing up a bit today, it was being really slow and laggy and the last order I wasn't able to print out a label for that which was really annoying so I'm going to try and do that tomorrow um, and the good thing is me and my sister aren't going to the post office first thing in the morning so I'll have time to pack a few more orders that I get overnight um, and all of that kind of stuff, I won't have to rush because it won't be like 9 o'clock in the morning, it'll be um, a few hours later. Yeah so I was basically saying that um, I'm going to go ahead and try on all my ASOS bits now so that whatever I don't like I can return it tomorrow because I'm going to the post office anyway and I'm returning all the other ASOS stuff that I need to return also and I really wanted to show you guys what I got um I was looking back on my order and pretty much everything is black and white <laughs> that's literally the only colors I got black and white um and yeah so I really want to quickly show you guys my plant that I got from Ikea it's a fake plant I've been eyeing it for a very long time and I finally went ahead and picked it up up and I absolutely love it. I've just popped it over here. It's so 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 cute. Um, so this is a pot that I already had, and the plant that was here, um, is just over there now. It probably won't stay there, but I don't really know where else to put it. Um, but yeah, so this is what the plant looks like, and a lot of IKEA plants will fit into most of the um little pots from IKEA. So this is an IKEA pot, and this pot here is also an IKEA pot. Um. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So before I unbox the new ASOS Bits and Bobs, I thought I would quickly talk through um, some stuff that I've decided to keep. So since my last vlog, these are stuff that I've pretty much decided to keep from orders I've had since then. Um, and I've also got a maybe pile as well. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to keep those or not. So first of all, this is the keep pile. So I've got um, two pairs of these plain ASOS um, tights. I really needed some new tights. I've got these polka dot ones, I can't remember the company, but they're black tights with polka dots. Um, then I got myself a silver belt, so if you guys saw my last vlog, you would have seen I've got the gold one. I have three gold belts now from ASOS, um, they're only £10 each, and um, yeah, I thought I will go ahead and get myself a silver one. And then, you guys know I love my gold earrings, I'm always wearing them, so I decided to get the same exact pack in silver. I also got this cardigan, um, it's quite hard to sort of show you cardigans when you're not wearing them, but I just picked up another cardigan, um, this one is really nice, not as nice as the last one um, but I did actually go ahead and get some more cardigans I think I might have one or two in my ASOS order I also ordered from um, H&M and New Look and um, I ordered some cardigans from there as well so I should have about five or six to choose from now so I'm not just wearing the same one and then as for jeans you guys would have seen me wearing my um, rose gold my rose gold ASOS jeans yesterday um, so they are the same jeans from my last vlog I just ordered them in a bigger size 
I think the 24 means the waist um, and then the 28 is the leg. So in my last video, I had the size 4 for 26 leg and um, and then I went ahead and I ordered a size 6 28 leg um, and that fit really well. So I was wearing them yesterday and then this is the other pair that I tried on in my last vlog. I just went ahead and I got it in a bigger size. So I got um, size 6 with a 28 leg. This is my keep pile so far. Um, and then over here is pretty much my maybe pile. Um, I think this one is definitely going back because um, I didn't realise this was a butterfly belt. I thought it was a silver bee belt to match my gold bee belt. And um, I was going to return it and then I realised yesterday it had butterflies. I was like, oh, I don't have this one. But I think I might return it because um, I already have enough gold belts. And then there's this pink dress, which I wasn't expecting to like how it um looks on but i i do like how it looks but i'm just thinking what would i even wear this with so if i can't really think of anything to wear it with i might as well return it and then i have some this is a jumpsuit i've never had a jumpsuit before this is a size six i tried it on it feels really nice and cozy but i just don't have any shoes to go with it and i also needed to order some um tops to wear underneath it as well which i have in my asos order i ordered some with my last order but i'm, I'm going to be sending them back they're just like sort of straight cut short sleeved um, t-shirts but they were a bit sort of big and I wanted something a bit like tighter fitting if that makes sense to wear underneath this jumpsuit and I did order this jumpsuit in a um this one's in a size four but I ordered it in a size two which is in my um ASOS parcels over there um I decided to get the size two to see if the legs are a bit shorter because this the legs on this one is quite long super comfortable and then here I have this wash sort of denim black um uh, would you call it a pinny? Is this in a size four? I feel like if it was a little bit tighter and maybe in a darker colour, I would definitely keep it. Um, and yeah, I'm just not too sure about this. I know I've been ordering a lot of stuff from ASOS and returning stuff, but to be honest with you, this is the first time I've really been ordering clothes and stuff online and trying different places other than just shopping in Primark and used to how their sizes work, if that makes sense. Um, and also I've been trying to pick things like dresses like I don't normally wear dresses so I've been ordering quite a few of them just to try them on and see how they fit and decide whether I like them or not so I'm just being a little bit more experimental um and I'm just upgrading my wardrobe a little bit because I did declutter um my clothes the other day I've got a vintage account I'll link it in the description so I'm going to be selling a lot of my clothes on there um if you go back and watch my videos you will see I repeatedly wear the same stuff so I have a lot of clothes but I just wear the same things and I'm, I was just getting sick of that so I thought I might as well just revamp my wardrobe um, and get some new bits and bobs and stuff that I'm actually going to wear. I'm going to stop rambling so we can go ahead and get into uh, these ASOS parcels. So I think we'll start with this box first. So first things first, I'm really excited to try this jumper out. So this is by a brand called Pull and Bear and I have some jeans from them which I ordered the other week and I love them so much. Um, and ever since I've been wanting to try some more stuff um, from their um, from their range that they have on ASOS. And I found this really cozy looking jumper. I think it was like £20 um, and I wouldn't normally spend like £20 on the jumper but I have been spending a bit more on the clothes. Um, I'm just so used to really cheap Primark prices. So I've just been buying stuff that costs, uh, they're not expensive, but it's like a little bit more if that makes sense. It's gonna be hard to identify most of this stuff because I got so many items that are just black. Um, so this is, oh, okay. So this is the size two um, jumpsuit. Um, I don't think there's any dresses in this, in this order. I think it's mostly, uh, what are you? A cardigan yeah I think it's pretty much just mostly cardigans jumpers and I think we've got some jeans as well because I haven't ordered any blue jeans yet so I'm excited to try those out um I decided to go for a different colored cardigan um oh and then I've got a bunch of different shoes as well so that's why the boxes are so big it's because I ordered shoes and not just clothes um and I did buy myself a pair of converse 
this order i i ordered it at like 12 or 1 a.m in the morning and i went ahead and i bought myself a 57 pounds um pair of converse which i've just dropped on the floor but the funny thing is i've never really cared for converses like i don't hate them i've seen loads of people wearing them but i just never thought oh i want a pair and i don't i don't really know why i decided to buy them i was just on a spending spree and i thought oh, if i don't like them i can just return them um but yeah i decided to go for these ones these are not the ones I originally wanted. I saw the black one and I wanted to get that, but it was out of stock. So I was like, uh, just, I'll just get the, the black and white one because I wear black and white anyway. Um, and yeah, so we got those. Um, we've got another pair of boots here. So I'll show you guys the, um, the shoes in a minute. Right, so this is how I've set everything out. Um, and, and I'm going to go ahead and open up this parcel here. Right, so this is my biggest ASOS order yet. I didn't realise I ordered so many, so many different shoes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes there. Actually, six pairs of shoes, apparently. Um, we've got some tights, um, two pairs of jeans. Um, I think these are two jumpsuits. Um, this is another, um, this is another thing from Pull and Bear. It's just two t-shirts with frilly sleeves to wear underneath the jumpsuits. Um, I've also just got this white top, which I think would look really nice with a pair of jeans. Um, we've got one jumper, and then I think the rest here is just free cardigan. Pretty much just staple bits and bobs. Um, nothing extreme, it's literally just tops and bottoms and some boots and stuff because I've needed some new boots. So the first pair of boots are these Chelsea boots by a brand called London Rebel. Yeah, London Rebel and I got them all in a size 5. Um, I don't know if this is going to be too big for me, these look quite big, um, but usually I fit into a 4 or a 5, uh, normally a size 5, so we've got those. Um, I think these might be my sandals. I don't have any summer shoes and I don't really like sandals um, but I saw these and thought mm, I might like them but looking at them in person I don't know if I'm gonna like them. This is the brand. I've actually got three different pairs of shoes from that same brand. Um, these ones, oh these look really nice. So these are some combat boots. I feel like the size 5 looks massive but um, I really love these boots. They're pretty much just all black. Um, and yeah, that's why I've got them. And I do love my combat boots. And I've needed a new pair. And then these boots here are... Oh, did I order two of the same thing? Oh, I've done it again. I think I've just ordered two of the same thing. Oh no, I did this like... Um, I did this the other week. But yeah, I think these are literally the same. So one pair is going to have to... Um, they're gonna have to go back and then I've already shown you guys the converse um, and then here is another pair of boots oh these are nice so they're just another pair of combat boots um, but they've just got a silver zip um, these are really 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 nice first of all I'm going to be trying on this blue pair very very blue pair of ASOS jeans and I think I ordered them in uh, it's 23, 28. So I think this is a size four and a 28 leg, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on with this white ASOS, um, with this white ASOS top. So this is a very different look for me. I don't normally wear, um, I don't really wear white or blue jeans, but I have to say, I love the fit of these blue jeans. They're really, really nice. Um, and I actually really like the color of them on and I've just paired them with the black um, Chelsea boots. So I do quite like this outfit, but I feel like, I don't know how I feel about this top, but I do really, really like these, um, these jeans. I love this jumper so much. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting to like it as much, but this is the softest thing. And I love how it fits and it's cropped and it will look really nice with a necklace. I love this. This is such a great jumper. 
Ah, oh, this this one is definitely staying. I'm so glad I got this because I was going to act like I think I took it out of my basket. I wasn't gonna buy it because I was like 20 pounds for a jumper, really. Um, I did have two pull and bear jumpers in my basket, but I removed one of them, which was like a lilac-y grey colour, and I kept this one. It's this really nice sort of stone colour. I don't really have anything in this colour, and I I love this. I love how it fits. It's cropped, but it's sort of like loose. If you're wondering what this thing is. It's basically just their um their little tag. Just popped on these misguided jeans in a size four. They are a little bit baggy, but they're really comfortable. I don't know if they're gonna do a smaller size than a four. They might have a two. I don't like how they are at the leg. I feel like this just too. It's not tight enough. Um, I don't know if I can get away with wearing these like a pair of boots, but I just don't like how they how they gather at the back. I don't really know if you can see that. Um, so I think I might return these, but they're super comfortable. This is the first cardigan. I wouldn't obviously wear it with this jumper, but this is definitely going back. So this cardigan is, um, it's the same as the one I have in black that I love, but this color is like a, I don't know, it looks like a peachy, creamy color. Um, it, I thought it was more of a stone color. It looks different to how it did online. And um, it is it is nice. Obviously I'm gonna say that because I love the black one, um, but I think I'm gonna return this one because it's not in a nice color. And I've just noticed this jumper that I'm wearing it's very fluffy it's fluffed up these um these black trousers so I think if I am gonna wear this I have to wear it with like those blue trousers because it's just gonna ruin my black trousers I don't know if you can see that um but yeah so I love this jumper so much so that's gonna be a downside to it um and I've also popped on these boots I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop on um, one of these pull and bear um t-shirts I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping these because I love the brand and the, their stuff seems to fit quite nice so it's just a black and a white pair um, but I want to put on the black pair because I want to try on my two black cardigans and if I keep them it's going to be covered in this in this fluffy thing so um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of these on I really love the um pull and bear top but it is quite tight I know people were saying that it does fit quite tight so I don't know if I'll have to maybe order a bigger size but I do like the um t-shirt it is exactly what I was expecting but yeah the cardigan I don't really like it it's very it's very boxy it's hard to see because it is black but it is it's very boxy it's a nice lem this is a nice cardigan but I just feel like it's very boxy like look at the sleeve it's very pointy and the arm um, no no, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the uh, the next cardigan. So it turns out this wasn't a cardigan, it was a jumper. I feel like this jumper is really big and puffy. I, it's very warm and it's very soft. It's such a good quality jumper. I think this is an ASOS jumper in a size four. Um, and I do love the sleeves because I love balloon sleeves, but this is really, this is a very puffy sleeve. So I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Um, I'm going to be sending this one back. It's so funny because last week my, the clothes I was buying, the clothes I was buying was very like spring and summery. And now I've just gone on to buy autumn clothes, <laughs> like jumpers and cardigans and boots and stuff. I just love autumn. Autumn is my favourite season. I do have some more cardigans. I Like I said, I think I've got like four other cardigans that I've ordered, but they're from New Look and H&M, so fingers crossed I'll have better luck with them. So I just have on this jumpsuit. This is a size two, and I feel like as soon as I put it on, I instantly thought, okay, this looks better than the size six. I don't know what it is, but this this one looks better than the, um, the size six. Um, it is still quite long, so that's why I just don't really know what shoes I would actually wear with this. But I feel like I do really want to keep the jumpsuit. And it has pockets. So yeah, here's how it how it looks. Um, the bottom is rolled up. Uh, it just comes like that anyway. Um, but I just feel like the bottom is still quite long. I haven't done the best with the um with with the knots, but you can adjust the um the knots on it. And um, yeah, and I just love the fact that it, it has pockets as well. I love that. Um, so this is just really nice for a casual day. In this, I think this is called a jumpsuit. In this one, I look like an actual clown. I was hoping that I was gonna like these. So I've just went ahead and put the black jumper on again and I decided to dress it up a little and I think I'm going to keep it. So I just popped on this um, ASOS belt. This is my favorite one. I've also got my Michael Kors crossbody and then I've just put on the Chelsea boots that I bought. And um, I feel like this is an outfit 
I would wear so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this jumper um I think this jumper is on sale I think it was 20 something and it's like half price so it's a really nice jumper like I said it's super comfortable it's super warm um and I guess it's just a big oversized jumper and I feel like in the autumn I'm gonna absolutely love this and I love it with the boots um so yeah I'm gonna keep this jumper I'm happy I, I'm, I'm so happy I tried it on again um I'm gonna keep these jeans as well I looked on um ASOS um and this is the only pair that they have this is the only size they have in stock um it's not super super like uncomfortable tight if that makes sense um I feel like when I tried the black ones on they were really tight and I found them really hard to actually get off and I love the colour I would never have really gone for this type of blue but I really like it um um, and as for these boots, um, I think I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep the pair that I have because I do really like these boots, but I can feel my feet slipping out of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, um, I'm going to get the size four instead, I think. The state of my bedroom. So I've just finished um, trying on all of the stuff. I've tried on the shoes. Go ahead and sort out everything to sort out this mess and then I'll quickly go for a review what stuff I'm keeping and what stuff I'm gonna return. I'm gonna quickly talk through these shoes because we're losing light um, it's getting quite dark now. These sandal things they're going back. Um, Converse's I am gonna return this pair and when the black ones come back in stock I'm gonna get them in the size four. They're really really comfortable they're not worth £57 though um, but I do take care of my shoes so I know these would last me years these I love the Chelsea boots they're going back oh and this brand I think you pronounce it shoe um, I have to say the quality is very good a really good quality um, yeah these are by London Rebel these Chelsea boots love them I just need to get them in the size 4 because they're a bit big um, these ones are by New Look love these ones um they're just a bit big so i need to get them in size four and these ones i had a love-hate relationship with them because they are they're very chunky but when i had them on with the blue jeans they um they look really good i really really like them um, and i don't have any sort of chunky boots like this so i'm gonna return these and get them in a size four so i've just spotted bluebell and this is the first time I've seen her today. She's pretty much been sleeping all day, so it's quite nice to to see her. I didn't even hear when she woke up. Um, <laughs> she's so quiet sometimes. Um, but yeah, just what I would uh, show her to you guys. It looks like she's nibbling something, or she's found something to eat, and she's just cleaning her face there. And yeah, she's so adorable. So I'm keeping these blue jeans because uh, I think because I think I only have one other pair of blue jeans um, so it would be nice to have another pair. Definitely keeping this pull and bear jumper. It's so soft. I'm annoyed that it's quite fluffy though but it's so soft and I love it so much. Um, I'm keeping the size 2 jumpsuit and keeping the puffy black jumper. I'm going to be um I'm gonna keep I'm gonna cling on to these for now but um I'm gonna wait and see if the size I think it's a six to eight if that comes back in stock and then I'll um buy them uh but if not I think I'll just keep this pack because they do fit but I feel like they're a little bit tight um so I was gonna return them but I checked online and um they're out of stock so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna keep these and have a think about it and then I'll just keep and use them all right so I haven't tried them on um, I will at some point, but I know I'll like them anyway. They're literally just black tights and they're ASOS tights. And I know um, ASOS tights fit quite well. So good morning, you guys. I'm just about to head out to go with my sister to the post office and then to Ikea again for like the fourth time in the last week or so. She got something delivered and it was the wrong thing. So we have to go to Ikea to change it. But I think we're just going to our local Ikea and not the one in Greenwich this time. And yeah, this morning I um, printed out the label for one order because yesterday um, the Royal Mail click and drop where I pay for and print out my labels. Playing up yesterday, it was being really slow. And then the last label just refused to print so um I had to do that this morning that's all done and um 
yeah, I've got some ASOS returns to bring to the post office as well, um, as well as a bunch of orders and stuff. And just a really quick outfit of the day. Um, I've got all jewellery from Anna Louise. You guys have seen this necklace before. It's just the coin necklace. And I've also got the um, gold bracelet. And I've got these hooped earrings on from ASOS. Um, I'm wearing the puffy black jumper from ASOS that I was going to return. And I'm so happy I didn't return it. And I've also got this ASOS cardigan. I'm wearing the ASOS um, bee belt for the first time. I've just got some night trainers on and um, some black socks and yeah, a pretty casual outfit today. Oh, and my bag as well. I've just got this Louis Vuitton bag, which I wore a couple of days ago. And yeah, so I'm gonna head out now. And um, oh, I really wanna quickly show you guys my new deodorant I've been using. So I ordered some uh, Dove deodorant off Boots. I normally have the Dove original, but I didn't have that. So I thought I would try these two new ones. So the first one is this apple one. And we've got this coconut one. And these smell so good. I have the coconut one on today and it smells amazing. Absolutely love it. Um, I also picked up two more packs of these antibacterial wipes. I like wiping my phone and stuff down with them when I get in. And then I've got these snacks, <laughs> which I popped in that drawer for, I don't know why I put them in there. I just popped them in there. But I'm gonna be bringing um, these with me today. They're just these chocolate brownies. I think I had to spend a certain amount. So I just grabbed this thing. It was probably like a pound or so. Um, so they're naturally vegan, gluten and dairy free, which is good. So I'm just gonna pop these in my bag and I can snack on them at some point today. And yeah, so I'm gonna head out now and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, mama. They sent me out the wrong thing. Ikea now because my sister's going to bring the car closer so we can put the stuff into the boot um, and then I'm going to be going to her house and I'm going to try and upload my video again because yes not yesterday because last time I was there I was having issues with getting it to upload and stuff so I'm going to try it again today and fingers crossed yeah, actually. so here's the stuff that she's got from Ikea she just had to return it because they sent her the wrong things in the post and then the um, rail for the clothes um, it was broken, so they just gave her a replacement. Oh, and then you dropped my key. Imagine it went down the drain. Awkward to put in. I don't know if I'm hungry yet. Are you hungry? A little bit. I really don't want my toddlers. <laughs> You can put a pizza in the oven at my house if you want to stop. Is that, um, what's that place called? Is the Burger King a drive through still there? Oh, yeah. A whopper meal with a cook and a plant based whopper meal with a cook. No, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a chicken roll meal. Chicken roll meal. And some cheese bites and fries. And the regular fries. Yes, yeah. please. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thank you. They've got a very old fashioned mm. system. Put them on pegs. Yeah. Close pegs. Yes. 11.37. Thank you. You can take the card machine. Okay. Thank you. Um, they need to it on the stick things. Do you think? They need many things. <laughs> I can't tell you. Look at this one. How much people's touch that? Should have just done the cord. It's so funny now. Thank you. 
Did you choose Sprite? Oh yeah, I did. It's that like coat. It's yeah. okay if it is. Okay, I it's okay. <laughs> we'll ask for Sprite, but it's okay. No, she said it's okay. Thank you. You've touched it as well. Be aware, yeah. Because they can't give it to someone. No. Thank you. Can I get some sauce, please? Um, mayo, please. I haven't had mayo in ages. Thank you. Thank you. I just need to. Thank you. Right. So we're just in the um, Burger King. Um, car park um, we was gonna we was gonna go to McDonald's but I'm so sick of McDonald's I really don't like um, McDonald's uh, whenever I'm with my sister we always end up getting McDonald's because it's just so easy to go to a McDonald's drive -through. and when you're out and about there's always McDonald's to go to and when I'm with um, Charlie and we're like in London or wherever we go he always wants McDonald's and I, I don't hate it but I'm just so sick of it like I'll eat it if it's there but it's not my first choice I prefer like KFC or Burger King or I want to like have other things that are not just fast food um so we've decided to come to um the Burger King drive through because the McDonald's one is just somewhere over there and the Burger King one is literally just there drive through is really outdated it's not as um, straightforward as like the McDonald's ones and then we got to the counter where you pay and they give you your food at the same one and they were using like clothes pegs to like clip the receipts together and the lady almost gave us the wrong order she was really nice but she almost gave us the wrong order and then she gave me the wrong drink I wanted a Sprite and she gave me a Coke but it's fine because I like Coke as well and I was going to get a Coke um, so I'm kind of happy about that but then my sister's meal was wrong she ordered cheese bites and um, chips and they gave her nuggets and chips and my sister doesn't really eat chicken um my meal was fine i got um chips and my um chicken royal bag i love um I, I love burger king it's expensive it's like six pounds just for the meal that i got um but it's really really nice a lot better than um mcdonald's just going into Danelle next oh how did you see the bin did you see it before you parked be <laughs> i love this shot they do so many nice little bits and bobs. I do really like this. This bowl's nice. You find a nice one. This is cute. I think I'm gonna get this one. And they also have it in a green, this color, a blue. So I'm still at my sister's house. I've been here for about I think two hours or so. I'm just helping my niece um, declutter and I was also helping my sister with her wardrobe um, a little bit and she started put some and she started putting some um, stuff in there. Um, I picked up some stuff in Dunelm. First of all I picked up this really nice bag. I just saw it and I thought it was really cute. I love reusable bags. I have so many of them. Um, and then I picked up this mug because I just have an obsession with mugs and this one's really nice. Um, and it was only £1.50 as well, it's really pretty. And I also picked up this pink bowl, which I think was £1.70 something, because I've been wanting a really nice, um, just a really nice bowl for a little while, and this one's quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my, my little haul from today. Play in the UK as well. Thank you, no thank problem. you so much. So I've just opened my H&M parcel. This was left outside my door yesterday, um, but luckily it was still there when I got home. So first thing I got was this um, white t-shirt with um, frilly sleeve. I've been looking for one with a really nice pattern on there and this one is really, really good. So I feel like if I try this on and it feels better than 
the um, pull and bear ones. I'm going to return the pull and bear ones because they don't have the next size up in stock, which is I think six to eight, and this is a um, four to six. I think or something like that this was 9.99 it feels really good quality though um and this is to wear under like my dungarees and um stuff uh the next thing i got was um i'm not entirely sure what this is i think this might be a cardigan let me go ahead and open up the rest of this stuff So I actually got this candle, it looked really nice. Um, so it's an ocean scented candle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a sniff and see how it smells. Oh, it smells quite nice. So I'm gonna burn it and if I don't like it, I'll probably give it to my mum um or my sister. But I think this was just a couple of pounds. Um I don't think it was any more than five pounds, but yeah, I really love the jar. It looks so 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 nice. Um so I got one cardigan. Um, this looks like a really nice cardigan. It's thick and um, I love the knitted pattern. It's got buttons. Um, and this was $14.99 and I got this in an extra small. So I think this was a size four. And then I went ahead and I got two dresses. They feel really thin. Um, this one was $9.99, so it's not that much. Um, and I got this dress and I'm planning on wearing the white top underneath. Um, so I got this one and then I also got... Uh, this dress which pretty much it looks pretty similar to be honest uh, well not similar but um, yeah I don't really like how this one is that sort of browny black color if you compare it to like this black dress here it's like that sort of browny <laughs> black um, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and try these dresses on hopefully they fit because I don't really want to have to return anything I thought I would do a really quick outfit of the day my sister's about to pick me up any minute now um, once again we're doing the usual post office um, I managed to pack a bunch of orders this morning I woke up at 5 a.m. so that I could bundle some millet and pack a couple of orders um, and get them sent off today and I've also got my massive ASOS box to return as well I was gonna bring it with me yesterday but I had so many parcels to bring to the post office yesterday and my other like four or five ASOS parcels to return that I thought I would save the big box to another um to another day and my sister was supposed to post something yesterday but she forgot so she, she's gonna do it today and we're gonna go to Ikea again um I think she's got to replace something because something is missing and it's also her friend's birthday I think tomorrow so we're gonna probably have a look in boots or something to see if we can get her a little gift um and I got my H&M parcel yesterday and I opened that this morning I love everything inside but one of the dresses it's a little bit tight so I think I'm going to return that I probably won't do that today because I might not have time but I'm going to um return that and I'm going to get the size up so I'll probably order that today um I'll show you guys how the stuff look at some point they're just behind me that means I'm going to be returning my ASOS pinny dress I think it was called and um what is it I'm returning okay I'm returning the ASOS pinny dress and I'm also returning this um pull and bear um set so yeah these are going back I just need to quickly pop them in this bag and I've done the return already and I'm just gonna do that at the post office this is today's outfit I've got the same um trainers and the same jeans on um I've got my little uh Primark bag um, I've got this stripy jumper on which is from Primark I got it a while ago and then this is my new ASOS cardigan I thought I picked up my new one yesterday um but I that was actually the one that I got like the other week this is my new one because it has it has buttons and I, I love this cardigan and I've just got my usual jewelry on from Anna Luisa and my ASOS hooped earrings and yeah that is that is my outfit I'm loving today's outfit it's just really nice and casual I've been loving these cardigans I think I've I've got I think I've got another cardigan or another two cardigans arriving in my new look um parcel um but yeah and my new candle I've just I've just popped it up there and I think it looks quite cute and I can't wait to burn that and see if I like it or not so when I was at my sister's house I saw her wardrobes and I was helping her out a little bit to um change the shelf so that's why we went to Ikea yesterday because the shelves that she received were damaged and dented like the delivery people had accidentally dropped the um the parcel on the floor so they were all pretty much damaged so we went to Ikea yesterday to return them and then yesterday I helped her remove the shelves and put the new ones on I think we put the new ones I can't remember and yeah so before my sister turns up because she's going to be here any minute now I'm going to quickly um package up that ASOS parcel
so here's the parcel and I'm quite happy I have some of these um, plastic mailers left because I don't use these anymore I use boxes for my shop but I've got a bunch of these plastic ones left and they they, they are coming in handy what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the H&M parcel with me and bring this bit of packaging with me um, in case I can post it at the uh, post office there's a return label to stick on here but I'm not sure if I can bring that to the post office I think I can because it says Royal Mail um, but there's also the option where you can bring this in store and I think we have a H&M in town um, so depending on what's going on I might just bring this back um, into the store um, but I'll just bring it with me if not I can um, take it back home and sort it out like another day so I'm actually going to go ahead and leave out now my sister isn't here yet but she says she'll be here in like two minutes and I've just really quickly grabbed one of my uh, milk shake enamel pins so that I can show my sister the pin um, in person. Um, I got these I think it was last week or the week before um, and my sister hasn't seen it yet so I'm just going to bring this one down to show her and I will be adding these to my Etsy in the next couple of weeks. I don't know if you'll be able to see but my ASOS returns parcel is huge and it's really really heavy. To us about an existing order you placed online please press one or to talk to us Oops. No. we can help with existing orders or anything to do with argos cards we can help with existing yep. So I've literally just run back home really quickly to get my card because we're gonna um, go and see if H&M is open so I can return my parcel because my sister um, drove down the wrong road so we ended up coming back to where I lived anyway so we're just gonna head off back to the post office now. So I've just gotta find where my sister's parked. I'm not sure if she's in the same spot. How hard it is to get in. That's why I wanted it to be flat, as high up as possible. So we've just stopped at the pharmacy because my sister's picking up a prescription for my knee. So we went to Ikea and got what we needed to get. We wasn't in there for long. Um, and then we went into Boots to pick up some stuff for my sister's friend because it's her birthday in like two days. And I also picked up a few bits and bobs um, also. And then we went to McDonald's and my sister got some stuff from there. I got a McFlurry, I got the mini McFlurry. Um, and then we went to Burger King to get um, some lunch for me and also some lunch for my niece as well. We're staying at my sister's for a little bit, helping my niece sort through her room and stuff because she's going to be moving rooms. Um, so I'm just helping her sort through her stuff. And then I'll probably go back home once my sister goes back out again to um, do the school run. And I managed to return my dress to H&M. It was really quick to just return it in store. But unfortunately, the dress I wanted, they didn't have it in stock in store. We managed to find it. Uh, my sister just pulled out a random black dress and it turned out to be the exact dress I wanted but they didn't have it in my size so I'm just going to order it online when I get to my sister's house because I absolutely love that dress it fits so well right so I've just got home and I went ahead and took the bins out because I've been needing to do that for a little while I had so many um cardboard boxes to take to the bins and I think there was like two black bags um of stuff to take to the bins because I cleared out the freezer the other day and I had put like the stuff that I didn't want in the freezer in a bag in the freezer and I've just been meaning to take out like the whole bag and bring it downstairs so I've done that because I've got some food shopping coming tomorrow um and yeah so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I got in boots um and I've also got something for Bluebell's cage I was gonna sort out her cage tomorrow but I'll just see how I feel because I feel really tired I've been so busy over the past couple of days so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up in boots it was just Free thing. First of all, I picked up this toothbrush, and this is just a soft bristle toothbrush. Next, I got this brush, which I have wanted for ages. I saw it last year when I went into Boots with my sister, and I've had it on my mind ever since. So I already have this brush in the original black and red colour. Um, and this one is just a really cute colour. So it's a lilac and this fluorescent pink, and it's just really cute and girly. Um, so this is really good to use on dry hair um, and also 
on the wet hair as well. Um, it's a really nice, good detangling brush and super good quality. A bit pricey for a brush, but it's definitely worth it. And then I couldn't resist, <laughs> but I picked up some more gold earrings. So these were £7.50. And then um, I've also still got my video to sort out. I did manage to upload it yesterday. There's a couple of issues with the audio, but at this point, the video's up. And that's all that matters right now. I'm kind of annoyed about the audio issues. But honestly, I have been working on this video for like the past two, three weeks. And I've been trying to get it up for the last two weekends. Um, so it is going to go up this weekend. I just need to sort out the description and the thumbnail. So there's like some parts in the video where the audio isn't that good but I did have to re-upload it so it is better than the last time when I actually finally got the video up um but there's still some issues with it but I, I think it's fine um and yeah so hopefully you guys actually enjoy that video and like I said I just really want to get a video up because I only posted one last month it's just quite hard to focus on YouTube and my business on Etsy um and then my two Instagram accounts like there's only so much I can do and right now my main focus is is my shop pretty much and I always have so much stuff to do with that and as well because we've been in lockdown and everything there hasn't been much for me to film but now that we're slowly coming out of lockdown because we're not completely out of lockdown just yet there's been a lot more things for me to do and now that shops are open and stuff like that um so I've got this vlog going up and um, then I'm gonna have my hamster video going up and then I'm gonna be going away for two nights to Watford for the Harry Potter studio tour so I'm gonna have that vlog and then after that I'll probably just continue with the regular uploads and I want to try and get back to doing one video a week which is what I used to do um, if you are lucky I would maybe post two videos a week but I'm gonna try my best to do a video every two weeks or a video once a week so I can get um, some content up for you guys and um, I haven't posted on my hamster Instagram since Easter so once I sort out Bluebell's cage because she's literally still got Easter stuff up um, Easter was over a month ago um, then I'm gonna um, when I do her blue theme, then I'm going to go ahead and start posting some more pictures of her and her enclosure and all that kind of stuff. But speaking of Bluebell, her wooden, um, would you call it, her wooden chamber hide arrived today. So I'll show you guys the one that she has. This is her chamber hide that she has and um, she's went ahead and covered half of it in um, substrate but she loves this chamber hide and um, they're really good for hamsters um, she has one section where she sleeps one section where she pees um, one bit where she stores her food and stuff this is really really good for hamsters because it kind of mimics their um, natural habitat and in the wild they would dig burrows and stuff like that so it sort of mimics that and she loves her chamber hide um, and because I'm going to be taking out most of the dark natural wooden stuff I felt really guilty that she wasn't gonna have a, a chamber hide so I went ahead and I got her a new one it's handmade um, so it's not by like a company or anything like that this was put together with nails but they're not poking out or anything and Bluebell doesn't chew her hide she doesn't really chew wood um, so she should be fine with this but I'll keep an eye on her so we have an entrance up here and then we have an entrance um, through here and then the lid just completely comes off like this and then as you can see we've got a few different sections so I feel like she'll probably end up sleeping in this bigger section so I'm just using my bowl for the first time I absolutely love this bowl um if you can tell it's fish and uh, chips um I'm having battered fish but I've just like cut it into small pieces so that it could fit in this bowl and I do like to have cheese on my chips and sometimes I like to have it with fish um so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and talk into this because I'm feeling really really hungry 